What up, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian. Welcome back to another episode of the Sports Elite Podcast. Now, unfortunately, we're only a few hours removed from the Steelers game as my Pittsburgh Steelers fought 0-3, losing a tough road game to the San Francisco 49ers, 20-24. What a back-and-forth game late. We forced five turnovers and still couldn't pull out the victory. We had two turnovers ourselves. Mason with a with a pick. I know he wish he got half back. James with a fumble loss. <sighs> Forced five turnovers and still couldn't get the W. <sighs> Mason Rudolph finished 14 for 27, a little over a buck 72, two touchdowns and a pick. I like what I seen from Deontay Johnson. He finally got in there as we bench Moncrief as he has a rough start to the season. Keep Deontay Johnson in there, let him play. He's a rookie. Juju had a nice catch over the middle. Down the left sideline for a touchdown. Finally gets his first one of the season. Mason looked poised. He looked a little rusty to start from the go. He started to work his way as the game progressed. He started to catch flow a little bit. But, hey, it just wasn't enough. Late in that game, the 49ers score with a minute and 15 left to make it 24-20. Fortunately, they stopped us on downs with 41 seconds left to preserve the victory. I did like what I seen from the defense a little bit. You know, T. T.J. Watt had a pick, and Minka had a pick in his, in his Pittsburgh through his debut on in the middle of the field, and T.J. had his pick on the, on the screen. But, man, tough loss. The biggest thing, in my in my opinion, was, once again, it rears his ugly head. The defense cannot sustain any type of consistency in the second half as the same thing happened last year. We gave up 21 points in the second half. We were up 6-3 to three at half. Time of possession ended up finishing us a little over 23 minutes and the 49ers a little over 37 minutes. Now that wears a defense down. I think towards towards the end of the game, they started to get wore down. Jeff Wilson scored a pair of touchdowns for the 49ers. Never even heard of this guy. The defense just couldn't get the stops when we needed it to. I was happy, like I said, what I seen from Deontay Johnson, what I seen from Juju. Problem I'm having, we are not getting this run game going. James Conner finished the game 13 carries for 40 over 40 yards. I know he's banged up, but come on, man. Get Jalen Samuels in there. Show a little something, something, man. We're not getting it going. It's from the third game, and we cannot get established. I know he's hurt, and if he's not fully healthy to go or he can't make an impact, we got to get Jalen in there. Got to get Benny in there. I know they try a little bit to make an impact. Got to get Juju as many targets as we can. Vance didn't have enough targets. I know it was Mason's first game, and he's getting, the, and he's getting, and he's getting his feet wet. But, hey, it's a game we could have had. We could have had this game. We tried. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get the job done, man. I, it's tough, man, to fall to 0 3. Now, playoff chances are probably not going to happen. I'm still going to be optimistic. I still got to see what we see from Mason. And it's just it's just tough, man. It, it's going to have to be on to the next week, man. Hopefully, we can get a W coming up. And I just hate that we're one of the few teams in the league who's still 0 3, man. I was holding out hope that we could get this done, but you got a 49ers team who's just. Just better is not as injured as right now, and it still sucks. But uh, fortunately, good news is the optimism that Big Ben, it's a good chance he doesn't have to get Tommy John surgery, and I'm liking that. But like I said, tough loss. We never do good on San Fran. The last 10 games before this one, we were 5-5, five and five, but 6-5 and five San Fran. The last 11, we're going to have to get a W next week, see what we can do. I know Baltimore lost. They fought to them, but they lost to a, a Kansas City Chief teams who probably going to get the Super Bowl, and Pat Mahomes is just a stud of a player, and just got done watching that Rams-Browns game, and oh, I'm happy the Browns lost. Hey, it makes my night even more, the fact that we lost, but the fact that the Browns lost even more, and they, have, they haven't looked that great, but I can't say nothing because we're 0-3, but it's, like I said, it's back to the drawing board, see what we can come up with, hopefully we can get a W next week, but it's still Steeler Nation, baby, hashtag, here we go, still representing, I'm still going to wave my terrible tie, and I'm still going to support my team, when times get tough, you don't quit on your team. We'll be back sooner or later, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when tough times we quit, tough people, tough people last, man. And we're gonna get the job done. We're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep grinding. I got, I got faith. I got faith in Mason. I got faith in the rest of this team. And Mike T will get the boys ready for another week, man. It's been a tough start to this season, but I'm still gonna keep supporting and keep showing love, baby. Still a nation all day, baby. Hey, like I said, until next time, it's your boy Adrian. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter. That's at Keeping the Score. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, too, by the way. I'm always showing love. So, everybody, don't forget to support your boy. Everybody have a great night. And like I said, chase those dreams. Don't let anybody stop you.